In this video, I'm going to talk about what makes an HTML5 web app different from a native app. The fact that you write code once and run it everywhere versus code you write once per operating system and the need for network connectivity or the ability to run offline. I'm going to talk about all these things in detail. Generally speaking, most of us have experience using native apps on our mobile phones, but perhaps some of us have used web apps on either desktop or mobile and not known enough to pick up how it differs from a native app. To help you understand the difference between a native app and an HTML5 web app, I'm going to use a software product I use several times a week as an example. It's called Strava. I'm not being compensated by Strava. I'm just addicted to it because it factors into my life as a cyclist quite a bit. Strava has a native app I run on my phone as well as a web app that I access through a web browser, which brings me to the first difference between a web app and a native app, the environment they run in. Web apps run in a browser like Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. They can run in any browser, whether on a laptop or a mobile phone. Native apps don't run in that environment. They don't run in a web browser. Native apps run locally on a device. In the case I'm about to share, Strava runs on my Android phone, but they also have an app for the iPhone. This is a major difference. Native apps need to use different code for different devices. Android and iOS use two very different languages. Thus, if you have a product you want to get out there on mobile, you need to write the app once for each OS that you want to support. This means not only building it, but maintaining it. Currently, most people focus on only Android and iOS, but that's quite likely to change at some point. Then the inevitable happens, and you have to write it again for this new device. That said, there are frameworks which help with this problem. The two most popular currently are Titanium and PhoneGap, also called Cordova. Ideally, these frameworks allow you to write code once and compile it to different mobile OSs. Here's the kind of funny part. The code you write for these is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, just what we use in HTML5 web apps. In another video, I will go over these frameworks in detail. For now, let me continue to describe the characteristics of a native app. A native app may or may not access data over a network. In practice, we all connect to a network to download the app itself. It's just that once an app is installed, it may not necessarily connect to anything over a network. It just depends on whether the app needs to. For example, if your app just needs to save data locally on the device, a network connection isn't necessary. However, most of us expect local data to be sent to a remote server for some reason or another. One good example is the camera on your mobile. Typically, you take a picture and it's saved in memory locally on the device. Many times, that image is automatically uploaded to a remote application of some kind as a way of backing up that image or sharing it. In my case, with Strava, you can see here I have a screen to record a ride. Once I've downloaded and installed this app, I need a connection to GPS in order to be able to record the ride, but the GPS data about the ride is stored locally on my phone. Once the ride's complete, I end the recording and the ride data is automatically sent to a remote server where that data is used for ride analysis and some other fun things. This is a good place for me to switch over to talking about web apps. Because once my ride data is uploaded, I'm ready to go to the website and dig into analyzing my ride on my laptop. But you can access HTML5 web apps on any device. HTML5 web apps run in a web browser, and once the page loads, they don't have to access the network anymore. But they usually do either to update data from the server or post an update to the server. Also, once a page loads, much of the content is cached by the browser, speeding up subsequent page loads. New and changed content can then add to subsequent load times. There are ways to even allow HTML5 apps to work offline, some of which we'll learn. They may also save data locally to the browser and or over the network. They also have the potential to be made once and run everywhere. But in reality, there are exceptions to this. This is because there are differences in browsers, and that may mean that some HTML5 features either aren't supported or aren't supported in the same way. So from a user's perspective, native and HTML5 web apps may never feel any different. You open the app, enter some data, get some data back from a remote server. From our perspective, the people making the software, the differences are, to a certain extent, the languages and technologies we use to support a product or an idea. Knowing more about HTML5 web apps will help you decide which technology is right for your project.